Hi, today we're going to be talking about Monsters University, a movie about a university in the monster world, and how two of its students, Mike and Sullivan, managed to accomplish the impossible and live their dreams. This is a prequel to the hit movie Monsters Incorporated. Let's get started, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and tell us what you think of this movie in the comments below. The movie begins on a bright autumn day, as we see a school bus full of young monsters arrive at a factory during a school trip. The kids are very energetic. Here's where we are introduced to little Mike Wazowski who was nearly left behind on the bus. He's small and fairly unpopular, and this means he has no luck getting a field trip partner, so he ends up being assigned with the teacher as a partner. A guide introduces the class to the scare floor where monsters gather the energy to power the whole world. Here they go to test their roar, this is when they get to meet the real scarers, and a friendly one approaches them and tells them about Monsters University, claiming it is the best school. The kids cannot approach the scare floor as it could be dangerous, but Mike finds a way to sneak in and follow the friendly scarer into the children's room door. He gets to see the scares taking place firsthand and realizes this is his life goal. The friendly scarer commends him and gives him his MU hat. Years passed and Mike has grown to be ready for his first day at Monsters University. When he arrives there he's greeted by all the varied and colorful monsters that attend the incredible university. As he gets ready to check the first item on his career checklist he gets welcomed by the entire energetic team of university guides. He even gets his student ID card made, officially making him a university student. He's led along with a group of newcomers to see the facilities the university has to offer, like the labs, the cafeteria, and the rest of the campus as he gets to the scaring school. He explores the university where he sees the different clubs available. This is where he first learns of the scare games, an athletic competition where the best scarers compete to prove what they're made of. He gets introduced to his roommate, another scare major called Randy Boggs. You might recognize him as one of the main villains from Monsters Incorporated. But here he's just a charming and shy student with glasses and the ability to disappear. Mike suggests he should drop the glasses though. Mike gets settled in his new room and gets ready to start his career. Now's the first day of school, and he seems relaxed and excited. Professor Knight introduces the class in the typical tough speech and gets interrupted by Dean Hardscrabble, one of the most feared legends and biggest scarers in history. She tells them about the final exam, and how they'll be out of the scaring program were they to fail. Professor Knight continues the class by asking a question about the properties of a roar, and as Mike is intelligently giving the technical reply, James Sullivan appears in the back of the class with a tremendous roar that surprises everyone. Everyone is amused, as the name Sullivan is also a legend among monsters. The professor is immediately charmed and mentions he expects big things from him. Mike decides he's going to dedicate all his time to studying and passing that final exam when Sully breaks into his room through the window with the stolen pet of Fear Tech University. He took it as a prank to take to the fraternity party and be accepted in their circle. The pig pet escapes with Mike's hat, and they throw it out. But they end up getting into the frat party. As they manage to catch it, frat leaders fight to get Sully in their frat, but they are interrupted by the president of Roar Omega Roar, Johnny Worthington, who says Sully has what it takes to belong in their frat. Worthington also recommends Mike join Uzma Kappa, a frat full of friendly and goofy monsters. Sully tells Mike he's not even in his same league, and Mike seems determined to prove it. The next day at school, Sully's natural abilities show themselves once again. Mike takes it seriously to study every possible book and theory he can about scaring, while Sully focuses on having fun. Wazowski starts doing great in class and seems to have a good thing going. Whereas Sully starts losing the momentum he initially had. His natural charm loses some of its brightness. The day of the final exam arrives, Mike is ready, and the Roar Omega Roar precariously takes Sully's jacket, promising they'll give it back once he aces the test. The final test consists of going through a scary demonstration with a simulated room, and Professor Knight reads them a situation and kid's status, the monsters have to demonstrate a scare and a technical answer. Sully starts getting ready to scare and messes with Mike, and tells him he doesn't belong here. They both have a roar off and Sully ends up tripping and making them scream Ken with Ms. Hardscrabble record scream, fall, and break. She is pissed, but calmly and terrifyingly, she presents the hypothetical situation for the test to Mike, and barely even allows him to finish the answer when she decides she's heard enough. 
proceeding to give the situation to Sully, he interrupts her with a big roar. She seems unamused and says that the information is vital to know what would scare and work best with every individual case. What Sullivan did was a complete failure, and recommends him out of the scare program, he leaves in anger. She tells Mike how he cannot be taught to be scary when he's not, and also gets him out of the program. Mike and Sully are now in normal classes, studying boring subjects like Scream can design. Back in his room, Mike is angry with the poster for the scare games he got on the first day and runs excitedly to the event. Ms. Hardscrabble founded the games and gave the opening speech. Mike announces he's signing up for the games with his fraternity Uzma Kappa for the games. Hardscrabble opposes this, and Mike proposes to wager that if he wins she has to let him back into the program. She counteroffers letting the entire team into the program if he wins, but if he loses, he'll have to leave Monsters University. He accepts, but his team is one member short of being able to compete. He tries to find someone to join, but Randall has joined Roar Omega Roar, luckily Sully has been listening to the wager, and sees it as an opportunity to get back into the program, and joins the team, even though Mike is reluctant, but has to accept. They are back at the Uzma Kappa, they all used to be scaring majors until Hardscrabble kicked them out. Don Carlton is the older student there, Terry and Terry are pretty much twins, with opposite personalities, Art is pretty much a free soul, and Squishy, who's pretty much undeclared. They are all very friendly and energetic. They get Mike and Sully to their room, and after that, they throw a pretty eerie surprise initiation to the Uzma Kappa when they are interrupted by Squishy's mom. They throw a celebration after that. The next morning they receive a letter with the instructions for the first game of the scare games. They are guided to one of the sewers on the campus, where they are greeted by a crowd and all the other fraternities that will be partaking in the games are here. The first game is the toxicity challenge. To simulate the toxicity of human toys, they use a stinging glow urchin, and spread a bunch of them to throw what's pretty much a minefield. They have to race through it in the dark, and the last team to reach the finish line is eliminated. Roar Omega Roar wins the race, and even though Mike and Sully get to the finish line second, they've left their team behind, getting them effectively eliminated. However, due to another frat, Jaws Theta Chi using illegal protective equipment, they get disqualified, and Ozma Kappa gets back into the competition. The day after the team gathers to see what are their strengths and weaknesses, Mike tells them they're going to need to follow direct instructions from him but Sully doesn't think they have any real chance so he's not going to train with them. The next event arrives, they have to sneak in through a library without making any sound nor alerting the librarian, and retrieve their team's flag. Mike has a plan to go slow and steady, but Sully gets frustrated and decides to plunge ahead and give it a run to get the flag. Even though they alert the librarian, they manage to get out and not get caught. Another team gets eliminated and they succeed in this event. Back at the frat house, they are invited by another frat to a party at Roar Omega Roar House. Even though they are nervous before arriving, they are greeted cheerfully after their excellent demonstration at the second event. They all seem to have a good time at the party, Mike wanders around the house as he sees some of the portraits of the members of Roars. That is until the president of the Roars gives a greeting and then they release a trap they had set up to humiliate Uzma Kappa, take pictures and send them to the school paper and plaster the picture all over campus. The next day the Uzma Kappas are the joke at the entire campus, and the Roars once again say they don't belong among the scarers, and that they could go and work in the mailroom with the scaring companies. The OK is taken back by all this, Sully also says that no matter how much you train them, they'll still look like that, and the OK agree. They are all bummed, so Mike decides to take them on a night trip to Monsters Incorporated where they break in to sneak and see a real scare floor and see how the monsters professional scarer are all built differently, and even though not all of them look scary, they use their differences and unique attributes to scare. They even get to see some of the legends at work. As the OK are hyped, Mike and Sully realize they've not been working as a team, and that it may not be too late for them. They get chased by security and barely manage to escape, back in the house they are fired up, with energy and even start making their custom frat clothing. They begin training for days with Mike as their coach. They start seeing improvements in the events, and the team is more leveled up now. Their training is paying up, and now they are second only to Roar Omega Roar. Until they make it to the finals. Sully talks with Dean Hardscrabble to see if there are no hard feelings, and she is still confident Mike isn't scary. 
Sully is worried about this and tries to help Mike a little with his roars, but he's still not convinced. It's the day of the final competition, the scare simulator, after singing the MUM, they get ready for the scare simulator. It is set to be on the highest difficulty possible, they decide Don will be the first and Mike the last to go. The first roar to go is an accident and gets an underwhelming performance, and Don beats him out with a better score. The second round roar gets a much better performance than the OK, and this ties up the cumulative score. The third one is nearly a tie, but Roar is still on top. In the fourth round, Roar gets a big advantage, and the OK team is now in trouble. Luckily it's Sully's turn against Randall Boggs, Sully gives a stellar performance, with a Roar so strong it messes Randall's simulator making Boggs get the lowest score yet. The game is tied now. Randall decides this is going to be the last time he ever loses to Sullivan, if you've seen Monsters Incorporated you'll know just how funny this is. In the last round, Sully encourages Mike, who goes against Worthington. They both get into their simulations, and Worthington gives an amazing performance, earning him a nearly perfect score. Meanwhile, Mike's going for a more technical approach, and once there he gives it his all, with the biggest roar he could he earns a perfect, record-breaking score. The Uzma Kappa team is the winner now they all cheer and celebrate. After the event they are popular and beloved, Mike is melancholic looking at the simulator. But as he jokingly boos the simulator he gets a perfect score again, and upon further investigation, he realizes the machine has been tampered with by Sully, and it's fixed to always give a perfect score. Mike has a discussion with Sully, in which Sully says he had to do it, otherwise the whole team would have lost because Mike just doesn't have it. After this, the entire Uzma Kappa team is feeling down. Mike sneaks into the university's laboratory, meanwhile, Sully confesses to Hardscrabble that he cheated in the competition, and she expels him from the university. The alarms go off in the lab and Sully runs there to see what's going on before Hardscrabble gets there. Mike has entered through a door to the human world, gets into what seems to be a little girl's room, and tries to scare her, utterly failing, as the girl even mentions he looks cute, soon he realizes he's actually in a camp, and there are dozens of children in the cabin waking up, none of them is afraid of Mike. They all seem to like it a lot. When Sully arrives there, the university authorities have already arrived, the OK frat tries to distract them while Sully goes through the same door Mike went in earlier. The cabin is empty, and the police are outside. Mike has managed to escape, but the police get a glimpse of Sully and start chasing him. Sully runs and hides, but then he finds Mike, staring in sorrow at a lake. Sully tries to make him feel better, but Mike explodes against him, as he claims that Sully will never know how it feels to try his best and still fail because he's got it all from birth. Sully replies with how he feels, how he's shame of his family's name, and how he's failed every test and got expelled from the university for cheating in the games. Saying he might not ever know how Mike feels, but he's not the only failure out there, I act scary, but most of the time I'm terrified claims Sully. The police arrive, and chase Mike and Sully again, as they desperately escape back to the cabin they came through the first time they realize the door has been shut down. Hardscrabble has deactivated the door until the official authorities arrive. Mike suggests to Sully that if they manage to get enough scream energy they'll be able to activate the door from the side. So they start to use everything they've learned to terrify the officers as they go into the cabin. They manage to get the officers scared with advanced techniques and terrifying. The officers run in fear, and the amount of energy they generate fills the entire room with scream cans and even blows up the door. But they manage to go through the door as it explodes. After this, the authorities arrive and take them out to detention. Later they are back in the frat house and announce that they both have been expelled from Monsters University. The Uzma Kappas tell them that they were accepted into the scare program. They share an emotional moment as Mike and Sully have to leave. As the bus arrives, Mike and Sully say goodbye to each other, with an uncertain future ahead. But as Mike leaves on the bus and Sully stays behind they both seem depressed. Suddenly Sully stops the bus and has to tell Mike that he's the biggest scarer he's ever seen and that he admires him. Right then Hardscrabble arrives and tells them that the two of them have surprised her and wishes them both good luck. Tells Mike to keep surprising people. Mike remembers that they are always hiring in the mailroom if they want to work in the scare industry. They get started in the mail department at Monsters Incorporated. And after going through all the positions you can imagine in the factory, 
they managed to get to be professional scarer and coaches. As Mike and Sully enter the scare floor, joy fills their faces, they are finally living their dream. To watch more videos like this, please subscribe our channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.